Now, this thing works so effectively, you may not believe it until you try it yourself. But what will happen is I, I built all of this with the bucket and the cyclone and the cart and everything. And then I used it and almost straight away a piece of tarp covered the, the intake and this bucket just crumpled completely in an instant. So what I had to do to strengthen this plastic bucket is I had some chipboard and some MDF lying around. So very roughly I just used the jigsaw, cut out three rings, some little pieces I cut some little pieces of MDF to, to maintain separation between them and these rings are the right diameter to just sit halfway down my bucket so they don't go all the way to the bottom and so it just creates a skeleton inside the bucket and they just sit in there because the, the bucket is sloping down to the base I didn't actually need to put any, any feet on it it just sits there by, by virtue of the, having the right diameter it just sits there halfway in and gives a good skeleton to the bucket and stops it collapsing so if you can find a if you can find a metal bucket or a stronger bucket you won't need to do that otherwise uh, you'll need to cut something and build some kind of, of, of skeleton inside it this works very effectively the drawback is of course is that once this is all full of dust or half full of dust <coughs> so then you, you know you're going to have to pull this you don't want to throw your little rib cage out when you're emptying the bucket so you're going to have to you pull that out uh, every time you empty the bucket which tends to mean dust goes flying around a little bit so not perfect but simple low cost easy solution most of the time I have the shop vac connected to my random orbital sander uh, so it sucks in air through these holes so it sucks away the dust as it's sanding uh, however this actually worked so well that what was happening is that when that hit a flat surface it would actually suck the machine down so you couldn't hardly move it uh, so what I had to do actually is have a way to reduce the pressure some of the time so fortunately fortunately I made this pipe long enough so that I simply cut another piece of pipe and slipped it over the top there then I cut two holes I cut two holes into the pipe so that I can control the amount of flow so I can have some bleeding holes in there I can have one or two holes or none so I find that very useful. I need to have the, both of those open when I'm using it with the sander. Uh, when I'm not using the sander, I can usually close those to maximize the, the pressure.